the Whitestone Dome Glass Tempered Glass Screen Protector for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So I want to give a special shout out to Whitestone for sending this over. Let's dive right in. All right, and here's the packaging it comes in. Nice big box this time around. Should be a pretty cool um, unboxing uh, experience here. So you can see Whitestone Dome Glass for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So you can see four solution and let's take a look. Should give you full response on the display and also full clarity, full coverage and full filling. They're referring to the local glue that you use to install the gloss premium screen protector. We'll take a look at the packaging real fast. And then this one says, what does it say? Globally patented Loka technology for dome glass. Have a look at that right there. And then this is just some recycling labels, etc. And then here this says Whitestone. And then on the underside of the box, dome glass globally patented. So have a look at this four step installation. Pause the video if you want to check that out. So four step installation, fit your device into the jig and then drop the adhesive in the and then dome glass. Pull the hook down completely, UV curing, etc. So it should be a straightforward uh, install process. Now I've never used the jig before. This will be the first time, but we'll see. I'm just gonna kind of wing it and <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. What do we get? Put that to the side. Ooh, and look at this contraption. Wow, this is the, uh, the jig. Oh man. All right, this is pretty cool. I do like the blue and red. I got the Superman thing going on. That's kind of cool. Check this out. <laughs> now, I don't know how this actually works. We'll figure it out. And I'm assuming this is the bridge where you put the local glue. You screw it on here, right? Put that to the side. And what do we get? Uh, here you get two local glues. Let me just see if I can actually um, can you get this thing. I don't know what this actually is. Maybe some sort of protector for the backside. This is the camera cutout. Put that to the side. You get two of them. Black and a gray one. That's kind of cool. Get a bunch of paperwork here. Limited lifetime warranty. Cushion. S cushion. Okay. Attachable back cover super microfiber. Okay, so that's what this is. All right. You get that. That's kind of cool. Never seen that before. Got some, looks like instructions in a different language uh, so i can't really can actually oh here this this english how to set the e-jig to reuse all right so that's a reusable item that's cool and a pamphlet here put that to the side and you get two dome glass that's kind of cool let's take a look at the glass itself and have a quick peek at this and i'm going to take a look at it kind of closely and then you can see it is it's a little bit curved i don't know if you can see that but uh, yeah, it's, it's curved a little bit right here. I can see it. So that's cool. And we'll take a look at the hole punch camera cut out right there. Nice. I'm digging it. And then here you get the dust removal uh, stickers. Let me grab this. All right, so you get your dust removal stickers, which you'll need alcohol wipe, of course. And these are the pads to absorb any excess local glue. You get a bunch of uh, microfiber. That's cool more of these uh, alcohol uh, wipes and these black decals here are to cover up your speaker ports your uh, usb type c port etc so no loca adhesive gets inside those ports you would not want that so put that to the side you get another one of these that's cool more stickers and this is to handle your speaker or to uh, cover up your speaker on the phone and then what is this a little handle here yeah, I get a little handle here. You use this to uh, install the gloss. And then you get two bottles, or actually three. Where's the third one? You get three of the Loka. So you have more than enough here to do an install, uh, two installations, right? All right, so let me get this thing situated. Let me study this and how this actually works. And um, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. I went ahead and installed that microfiber uh, rear glass protector, I guess you call it. Um, what is it called? The, uh, the cushion, right? Um, now, I don't know what this actually does. Maybe it helps absorb the, any excess local glue that might get on the back side of the phone, or you can leave it on there. feels good to the touch. So I uh, went ahead and installed that, and I used the black tape that the kit comes with. Go ahead and cover all your ports, right? Your USB Type-C, your speakers, etc. Also went ahead and covered the buttons too. 
just cause, covered up the mics up here. Um, now you might notice there's some marks on it because I did install it on the jig. Now I'll confess, I broke the jig. <laughs> I broke this thing right here. So yeah, it doesn't spin back anymore. But essentially what this does is when this is installed like this, right? This white thing is uh, over here, right? And then you have this little stopper here. You wind this up, right? You wind this up and then when you unhook the, the stopper here, this will automatically uh, go this way. So what that does is it'll push the glass down onto the front of the device, installing the Whitestone dome glass. That's what that does. Unfortunately, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I broke this thing. It doesn't spin anymore. So that's all right. We'll just do it manually with my finger. Kind of what she said. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Again, this is the phone. I went ahead and installed the uh, microfiber uh, protector here in the back, pretty cool. Make sure you cover all your ports, etc. So have a look at that. And then now you wanna make sure your screen is nice and clean, as clean as possible with absolutely not even a single speck of dust. I'm looking at this right now, I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five specks of dust. Obviously you don't want any dust on here, zero dust. You don't want any dust underneath the, uh, the white stone dome glass. So go ahead and take your alcohol wipe and just clean the screen. And you can take one of the uh, provided microfiber cloths, which I'll do right now. Wipe it dry. All right, now look at your phone once again, make sure it's absolutely clean. Take that little dust, piece of dust off. So you wanna make sure your phone's really clean. Make sure you're working in a uh, very clean environment. Wash your hands. Make sure there's no pets in the room. All right, you don't want any dust or pet hair or anything like that. So yeah, this is nice and clean. So what you're gonna do right now is, we're gonna put this on the jig. And go ahead and rip this off. All right, so I'm gonna take the phone and I'm just gonna Install it like so. Now you wanna make sure that this is flat with the jig. You can tell by looking at the contact points, there's four contact points. One, two, three, four, all right? You wanna make sure that the glass and the contact point are touching. So just take a look at it, press the phone up, make sure it's not moving any farther up and there's no gap right there, right? That's very important. That basically lines up the glass perfectly with the device. So you wanna make sure that's on there perfectly. Cool. Notice this right here, see this black, piece of tape that covers your speaker. Obviously you want that there and you wanna take this extra plastic off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And then what you have left over, you can see that's covering your speaker up top. Okay, make sure you wanna give that a little bit of a press, make sure it's on there. And it's on there, as you can see. Now I'm looking at this again, I'm seeing new dust. Little dust right there, that might be pet hair. I got two cats, man, sometimes that's unavoidable. So, where's your uh, dust removal decal? Take that and wanna make sure that you can get, that you get your screen as clean as humanly possible. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. All right, now since I broke the jig, all right, I broke this, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on, like so, and then I'm gonna use the stopper here to keep it in place, okay? Now go ahead and do that. Now, take your bridge. This is the bridge, okay? Now, as you're doing this, Keep looking at the display, make sure there's no new pieces of dust that's on there. Go ahead, take your bridge, and you just put it on like so. And take, uh, this is your Loka glue now, okay? So go ahead and open the black cap. You have the red cap, black cap. Open the black cap, right? You twist this open, like so, and then go ahead and just uh, screw it on. The bridge. Now also, you wanna make sure you're working on a flat surface, right? You don't, want to you don't want to work on a table that's a little bit tilted because that's gonna mess with how the uh, local glue will get on the glass. You don't want it going one way or the other. You want it relatively in the middle of the phone, right? Go ahead and unscrew the red. All right, this will uh, pour the loca. And before you do that, check your glass one more time. Make sure that you have no dust. And I'm just gonna move forward with this. I don't see any dust. I hope there's not any dust. I don't see any dust, okay? And here you go, see? 
So you go ahead and do that and then put the black cap on right away so you don't spill any loca on your table or surface. Okay, so you can see staying in the middle of the phone. So that's what you want. You want to work in a flat surface. All right, you can go ahead and take off the bridge. Take that out. And at this point, you want to work fairly quickly. You know, the longer you let this sit, you know, dust in the air, etc., it's going to get on the glass. And you don't want that. This is the glass. Go ahead and undo the back. Like so. And then go ahead and just place the glass right here. Make sure it lines up with the contact points on the bottom. And just drop it down. You see? And then you're going to take this thing. All right. This is the, uh, the handle, right? So that's handle right there. See these two points here sticking out? You want to make sure that you put this on the bottom here and you'll see it. It'll start making sense, right? So go ahead and just put this. This is just a weight. So when you install the glass, it'll keep the glass down. It'll help with spreading the, um, the loca glue. Normally, see this thing will be on here, right? You wind this up, let it build tension. Okay, this will be right here. I let this go, the stopper go, and then the top part of the chair will just move up, installing the glass. But since I don't have this, we're just gonna do it with my finger. Do it with my finger, kind of what she said. All right, so go ahead and I'm gonna hold the red uh, top part of the tray. I'm gonna let this go, or undo the, uh, the hook. Okay, and then I'm just gonna, with my finger, press, I'm gonna go that way to my left, relatively slowly, and then it'll install. And let's go. All right, so I had to give it a little assistance there. It took a little bit longer for the local glue to spread out to the bottom right of the phone and also a little bit here. It took a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and take your UV light. I got my own power source here. So 15 seconds, three times, turn the power supply on. Boom, 15 seconds. And another 15 seconds in the middle of the device. And again, 15 seconds here on top. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go 60 seconds now, three times. Press it twice, 60 seconds. 60 seconds again on the middle part of the phone. And again, another 60 seconds, one more time on top of the device. All right, there you go. Go ahead and take this out. I want to make sure that, uh, go ahead and clean this up one more time with the alcohol wipe. Go ahead and take this off. Just push the phone out carefully. You don't want to dislodge the glass. <laughs> so go ahead and just press it out. Boom. All right, now we'll take a look at the glass. And uh, yeah, let's get in here and Pretty much the perfect installation. We'll take a look at the edges. I mean, yeah, this looks pretty good. Take a look at the hole punch right there. I get in here. Yeah, that's on there. That's like, let me look at it right now. Yeah, that's perfect. Whew, that is hot. Very nice. All right, so go ahead and uh, here's the back of the phone. Yeah, this feels nice and smooth to the touch. Yeah, this is sick. Yeah, I love these protectors. Go ahead and turn the phone on. No dust underneath the display, no air bubbles. Feels nice and smooth, just like the Gorilla Glass of the actual phone. Very nice. Okay, so the touch is, uh, so you can see it's working. Okay, well, this is the texting right here. That's cool. Um, let's go ahead and we'll go to Amazon right now. And then we'll go test out the, um, the keyboard. So that seems to work. The swiping works, okay? The navigation works. And then we're gonna go to the corner here. You can go to your drop down. do the same thing here. So, I mean, yeah, pretty much the display works. And then let's test out the fingerprint scanner. Now you may have to re-register your fingerprint. I'm just gonna try right now. I already had a fingerprint uh, registered prior to the installation. And, okay, mistouch there. Try that again. So it seems to be working. You may be able to get away with not having to re-register your print, but if you're having some issues, go ahead and just re-register your fingerprint and it should work. 
just fine right now. I mean, take a look. This is working. This is working cool, man. Yeah, this is nice. I do have a case I want to test out real quick, so I'm gonna do that right now. All right, got this official Samsung case here. I'm gonna go ahead and first of all, I gotta take this off. Take this off, and then we'll go ahead and install the case. All right, got that removed. Go ahead and take your alcohol pad and just wipe off any excess local glue that may have gotten onto the phone, right? And this stuff smells kinda, kinda funky too. I actually kinda like it for some reason. <laughs> so go ahead and just clean your phone. So I'm gonna take the, the Samsung case that I have, we'll put it on, and we'll test for compatibility. Boom, and I'm looking at it right now, and this works. There is a gap between the edge of the screen protector and the case itself. So you're not gonna have any issues with the case making contact with the protector and potentially the glass lifting up or anything like that. This is 100% compatible. There is a gap between the protector and the case right there. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, no problems with this. Now obviously, different case might be different story, so that's trial and error, test out the buttons. Yeah, there's plenty of clearance between the case and the protector. Again, the fingerprint scanner works like a charm. Very nice. So this is the Whitestone Dome Glass. Premium screen protector for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments down below. And if you're interested, I'll go ahead and put links in the description down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.